talk sport. We are the two mics, and we're about to embark on perhaps one of our dangerous, most dangerous yes. missions ever. Yes. We have in front of us uh, some very uh, highly potent whiskey. Well, one is uh, actually at the strength of 55% yes. proof. Uh, and when from, you think uh, that a bottle of wine is about four, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's, no, it's about 13. About 13, yeah. sorry. Yeah. And a, and a, sorry, a pint of beer is about 4.2. Yeah. And a bottle, well, yeah, but you drink a pint of that. Yeah. You're not going to drink a pint of whiskey. A bottle of whiskey dead. is 13, and this is 55%. Yeah, My we, God. I know. Uh, now, we're going to talk to Kirsty Clark. Uh, yeah, Dr. Banner. You better have him on alert, as well as the uh, A&E squad over at St Thomas's. Exactly. Because uh, only one third of your heart works. We talked to Kirsty the other day. Mm. Uh, she's from Whiskey Corner. She and is. she's very kindly provided us with all this whiskey to try. Kirsty, welcome back to the show. Hello, how are you? Very, very well, well indeed, well, thank we're you. We're slightly nervous, actually, because uh, I, I did sample, I have to say, very, very briefly, the Indian one mm. that we've got here, which is how a 55% uh, mm. percent, uh, proof one. And I'm slightly concerned that it came in a in a in a little sort of what well, looked like a, a, a specimen look, bottle, a specimen <laughs> bottle uh, with with handwritten uh, signs on it, yeah. saying Paul John Indian Single Malt Whiskey, mm. uh, classic select cask. Uh, that's just because the show were too cheap to pay for their own whiskey. Oh, is that right? <laughs> okay, that's shocking. So well, anyway, well, listen, we appreciate you giving it to us. What we have here, um, yes. Porky, is the big bottle is yes. the one British, isn't it? That's, where's uh, that from? The one uh, British. Yeah, we've got a couple of bottles here, so right. this is the order we're going to taste them in. Oh, OK. We're going to start with the bottle, which is the Rissé bottle, which is by um, R&B Distillers. Their website's rmbdistillers.com. Is, is this the no, Ben Romack? Is this the Ben Romack? No, this is the little 20cl bottle. Is it's it 1990? It's kind of pink. Oh, it's clear with kind of like a pinky brownie liquid inside. Black, Black Blair, 1990 vintage? It's no? called While We Wait. It's got a clock on it. Oh, I've got it, yeah. Right. It's Rass okay. Rassay, yeah, okay. R&B right. Distillers. Okay. Yeah, All right, right let, me, uh, right. let me pour some out for Porky here. Give me okay. that so we can hear the... Now, is this going to be... Distillery in the summer of 2017, and it's going to actually be the first legal distillery on the island of Versailles. Is this right. going to be? Um, is this going to be sort of knocked back, sort mm. of shot style, or are we going to uh, sort of sip it? No, we're going to nose it first. Okay, um, nose it. Yeah, I'm nosing it. To pick up. Okay. Yeah, so, that's quite nice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So this is made from two different types of whiskey. Yes. It's the same distillery. One's got peated malt. One's non-peated, and they're finished in a French oak, oak Tuscan wine cask. So, if you give it this quick, oh, quick nose and it's, see what you pick up. For me, I get strawberries and red currants and cherries. Mm. Well, it's 46%. It's just right. burned off the roof it of my is. mouth, yeah. that one. And I have to say, I have to say, uh, Kirsty, it's mm -hmm. it's the strangest coloured whisk I've ever seen. I'm yeah. not saying that... It's very it, light, isn't it? it? Well, it looks uh, almost uh, almond-type yeah. uh, colour. Yeah, it's got a kind of strawberry it's look about pink, it. It's pink, and that's it bringing yeah. the colours in from the, nice, um, the Tuscan wine cask it was finished in. My so God, that's a, that's a hot whiskey. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> so just take a little sip. I'll tell you what, hear my heart thing. bouncing out my chest. It's only one thing. third of my heart works. The great thing about drinking whiskey at this time of the day is it's very warming, because I, yes. I just kind of knocked mine back there. I'm sorry to disappoint you, because we, yes. we haven't got a lot of time. So, um, hey, uh, that, and it gives that you that kind of warm, well. yeah, warm feeling. Now, what Ooh. should we do next? OK, so that's that one done. Um, how, what did you think? Did you like it? What? I liked it a lot, yeah. Yeah, so not too heavy, not too peaty. A kick like a mule. Oh, then in that case, you're going to be in trouble. So that is coming at £57 a bottle okay. um, from rnb.com, as I said. Mm. Next, we are moving on to the one. Now, this is the one from the Lakes Distillery. Mm. Oh, that's the big bottle, I think, the other day. So this this the, Oh, I've got it here. Right, so you've got to yeah. open that one. Okay, so this is blended, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. and it's well, we might need somebody whiskey from everywhere. No, 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 it's okay, you're right. There. Yeah, I'm just okay. opening this while we're talking, Kirsty. Yeah. Google, while we're don't worry, they're not here in the room with me. Yeah. Right, OK. <laughs> Too young okay, to drink whiskey, so I take it. Uh, got our tasting pots here. Right, yeah. I'm just going to uh, pour a drop of this, Kirsty. OK, so this is 40%. It's finished in tawny pork cast. Right, there you go, and Michael. It, have a... it comes in at 39.95. You can get that directly from the Lakes Distillery. Right. And again, okay. you'll see this kind of wonderful pink colour on it. And that's it the colour it's picking up. Mm. Yeah, it is. Mm. It's slightly darker than the other one. Yeah, mm. because yeah. on the nose you get lots of orange and honey and kind of yeah. for me yes. fresh peaches and pancake butter. Lovely. So go straight in, dive in, and see okay. what you think. Oh, actually, I like that one slightly better than the first one. It's this slightly is, smoother. Uh, slightly smoother. And it's from Cumbria. Lovely. Mm. Mm. This yeah, is the one we talked yeah. about. Mm -hmm. You might find it a little bit smoother mm. as you call it because it's a bit yeah. lower in Yeah, it's not as harsh as the first one, I would say. OK, it all depends on your palate and depends what you like, um, mm. but it's a really nice entry-level mm. whiskey. The fact that it's finished off that's the That's not as harsh. It's really got... interesting. That's mm. very palatable, that one, Kirsty. Is, there, is there any really truth? Is there any really truth, Kirsty, in that in cold weather, if you drink whiskey, you get warmer? Is that just a myth? Do you just feel um, warmer? It's warming. Um, all mm. alcohol is 
weekend tends to be warming anyway. Everyone's gone out with a beer jacket on. But, um, yeah, whiskey's very warming in the chest. Mm. And would you recommend like, drinking this? Because, I mean, my, my father was a, a great whiskey aficionado mm. and he had a friend who was a, uh, an even more of an aficionado and he used to recommend that you always had a pipette of water with every whiskey that you had. Nothing else, just yeah, a pipette of water. Yeah, when it comes to water. drinking whiskey, it's really up to you, but mm. always taste it straight first because mm. you can't take water out once you put it in. True. So you can always add water. Mm. Okay. If you try a whiskey and for you, you think it needs a bit more yep. or it needs to come off the heat a bit, Add okay. literally drops at a time and mm. taste it and see how it works right. for you. Well, let's but go for the... Uh, let's... better than ice because ice cools it down too yeah, much okay. so it let's, makes it flat. Let's go for the well, next hang on. one. Kirsty tells us which order to taste them in. Yeah, so, that's what I'm asking for to do. On to the Bell Blair 19 next, please, guys. Bell Bear, yeah, that's yeah, 46% okay, so right. okay, this so one. Oh, blimey. This is a Scottish distillery up in the Highlands. Right in there. Um, yes, please. And this has been... I'll do, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've never, seen, I've I've never seen Porky ever say, that'll do, thank mm, you. Mm, mm. He's starting to get to yeah, you. Yeah, he's pulling a drop here. Right, I'm going to have a taste of it. Right, this one looks a little bit darker. I've given it the it? nose. I've given it the yeah. nose, Kirsty, and I'm it's getting... Sherry that's... impact in there as well. So sherry. American mm. oak, and then spends a little time in mm. Spanish oak sherry butts as well. Mm -hmm. Coming in at about £103 and at 46 for an ABV. You should mm. get a lot of the fruity kind of sherry raisin notes from there. Yes, indeed. So you'll pick mm. it up on the nose and then mm. dive in and see what you think on the palate. Well. 1990, it says vintage. Does mm. the age matter? I mean, I know that you can get, you know, like 12 year old mm. scotch, and some people yep. say the 24 year old is better. I mean, mm. does it matter beyond 12 years how, how good it is? Um, the short answer you, it's not that easy to tell. We mm -hmm. were sold that age was important for so long, and now as some of the stocks are starting mm -hmm. to run lower of aged whiskey due to boom and bust, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we've now been put whiskey out that doesn't actually carry an age statement and being told it's just as good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very contentious. Lots of people have got very strong opinions on it. I've had some old whiskey that is fantastic. I've had some old whiskey that's terrible. Same with young mm. whiskey. So mm -hmm. you really, you've got to get in and, and try it. All right. I quite like that one. It's a, again, it's a bit sort of yep. fuller and richer. Right, we mm. haven't got much time, so we have to do the Indian one now, I think. Because, yeah, head, um... on to the, head on to the Paul John, which mm -hmm. is the Indian. And again, this is obviously cast strength, so you're going to fill up a couple of the good stockers you can mm -hmm. go to. Thank you. The Whiskey Exchange, Master and where in, it, where in India do they make this? Nine ninety five. It's made in Goa. Um, for the, this is non-peated, but for the peated range they do, they actually take the peat from Scotland and oh take God. it over to Goa. Do they? Make the whiskey. That's and incredible. Then over. It's incredible. Now, this will age a lot quicker because it's so hot over there. I'm giving so it the nose. It matures a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's have a go at this one. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this one's like. All right, go on. We're running out of time now. You know, we're going to have time mm. to get to the other one. I don't oh, think. blimey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like the Excuse me. challenge. It is, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to leave it there, Kirsty. Thank you very much. Kirsty Clark there, the whiskey, oh. uh, whiskey corner. Thank you so Blimey. much uh, for doing that. Isn't it? Have another one. Have another You're, one of those. Look, Matt. Paul oh. John, Indian single malt, oh. classic select cask, 55% proof. I can't drink more of that. That will blow the top of your head off. Oh, I like that one. Just has. What an amateur. It's 